Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. One thing that I've noticed as a tutor is that many students, when they encounter a question like this, where there are a lot of different numbers being thrown around, students will start to have a mini freakout session. Now, one tip in this scenario to help you avoid this freakout session is to look at the units of the answer choices. In this case, they told us the units in the question stem, but a lot of times in the MCAT, the units will be found right within the answer choices. So if we notice that our units are moles per second, what can we do with the previous numbers we've been given to get those units? Well, if we find the concentration of B and we divide it by the amount of time, that sounds like a good approach. Let's give that a try. Now, if A's concentration is going from 4.5 to 2.4 and all of A is becoming B, that means 4.5 minus 2.4 will give us the molarity of B that is formed, which would be 2.1. Now, I can just take this molarity of 2.1 divide it by 6.7 seconds, and I'm going to get about one-third, or I could write that as 0.33. Now, obviously this is not an exact solution, but one skill you want to get better at on the MCAT is making approximations. And in my high-speed math mastery course, I teach you all of the simple math tricks you need to know to conquer any math problem on the MCAT. And students who use this course find that their speed improves quickly, which allows them to have more time to solve other practice problems in the MCAT. So I'd highly recommend checking out that course. Now, 0.33 is going to be close enough that I can look at the answer choices and decide which one is the best answer. And a great way to double check if we did our math correctly would be to ask ourselves if we ended up with the right units. The units they're asking for are molarity per second. That's what we did. We divided molarity by seconds. Thus, our final units should be molarity divided by seconds. Taking a second look at our answer choices, it looks like answer choice B, 0.313, is going to be the closest to my approximated answer of 0.33. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We will see you next time.